Our back to school coverage this week continues now with more of our pinpoint weather coverage. Students and teachers hoping for some relief from that heat. And Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh is working the latest on those conditions inside some of our local classrooms. Well, Danielle, no relief just yet. We are live outside the Ella Risk Elementary School here in Central Falls, and we watched as the students were dismissed about a half hour ago. Now, usually their dismissal time here is at 2.20 in the afternoon, but this oppressive heat required the superintendent on their first day of school here in Central Falls to instead have school be released at 11.30 this morning. Usually this bright, friendly painting of the sun on the side of the school would be a welcoming sign on the first day of class. This year, it represented the oppressive heat baking the students inside, prompting Central Falls Superintendent Victor Capayan to announce an early dismissal for their very first day of school. When you have any um, uh, older building, especially, and you pack it in with, you know, hundreds of students and staff, um, the, the heat tends to rise. And so I really felt that it would be best to provide students with a half a day and also provide the teachers with a half a day just to make sure that everyone was safe and everyone um, had an opportunity to get to a cool place. He said he made that announcement early, the day before, to give parents the time to make plans for how their children would get picked up and cared for. For children relying on the school lunch program, Program. And every student will have an opportunity to have lunch in uh, their school or to take a lunch home. Uh, but yes, everybody will have an opportunity to have lunch before they go. Superintendent Caballon said he did consult with superintendents from other nearby school districts, but ultimately made his own decision for what would be best for Central Falls. And other schools starting their school year today are North Smithfield, Coventry, and the Rhode Island School of the Deaf. Even if people did have a full day of classes today, many school districts announced they had no after-school programs due to this oppressive heat. Live in Central Falls, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.